I'm glad to be here today to share and discuss with you several immersive experiences that we developed and implemented on some of our projects and to elaborate more on virtual construction technologies and techniques, uh, how it aided to making better decisions and to streamline work processes within the project life cycle. Uh, based on, based on uh, concrete examples, I will be covering three main key points, artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and BIM uses. So when it comes to artificial intelligence, this new technology enables us to better detect and track productivity on site. So how can we better uh, track the progress of any projects? It's always based on resources. As you can see here, we have different type of resources and each resource is allocated to a certain uh, working activity. So these tools was very efficient to make a better decisions on the productivity rate of each activity because through these tools, as you can see, we can define properly if the equipment is on working or parking mode. Most of the time, when you collect data from site, you receive a list of equipments, but you can never know if these equipments were really used properly on site and where the, the quantity measured or executed on site are really reflecting the real uh, physical progress. So uh, through this uh, techniques, we were able also to detect PPEs compliance and safety and to generate uh, safety uh, reports. And definitely when you have a clear and better uh, data, you will be able to correctly identify and optimize your KPIs on site. Next, I will be talking about uh, virtual realities. What if you can walk through your projects even before the construction has started? So these tools definitely enabled us to work collectively with all stakeholders involved. And more importantly, is to get the client involved at early stage. And it will help the client as well to make better decisions and faster decision as well, especially when it comes to material selection, so on and so forth. In addition, this tool was very flexible and it was very used to collaboratively uh, uh, manage between different disciplines and to run clash detections and to detect if there is any uh, design defects at early stage of the project. When we talk about BIM users and BIM different dimensions, so it's very important to talk about data because data matters in construction. If you don't have reliable data and if you are not able to manage your data properly, definitely you will not be able to manage your project as well. So to success on a construction project, construction methodology is very essential. But also, it should be flexible to allow, uh, to adapt and to allow for inevitable uh, delay or cost uh, changes as well. So through BIM uses and BIM different dimensions, like BIM for 3D, we were able to explore all the building's elements during design and also to better use these elements and these data during construction as well and to perform clash detection and creation create different reports uh, for design uh, issue management as well. Data also matters for planning and control. It's not only for design purposes. So it's very important to align your planning based on real data, and this will help uh, us during construction as well to manage and to track and to monitor your schedule based on physical progress extracted from a single source of truth, which is the BIM model itself. Cost definitely, it's a major component in any project. So when we have all the data properly set and well uh, organized, cost will be also integrated within the planning and the model and will help us to generate better uh, reports and more accurate uh, KPIs uh, during the project life cycle as well. Here another uh, example. This is the gyratory tunnels, and due to its complexity, we were able also to 
simulate different constructability uh, approach because the project and due to its, uh, the tunnel intersections and the size of the projects, we were able to simulate and to uh, present different scenario uh, to better uh, approach the construction before breaking the ground. As you can see, so this is how we industrialize the construction itself. So it is a kind of process. As you can see, we have different segments of walls. Up, you can see the time scales, and here we can check the progress for each segment of wall. And at the same time, we were able to uh, simulate and to uh, test different uh, construction techniques as well. Another project, the Avenues Riyadh project, is very well known. It's 1.5 million square meter. So there is a lot of challenges of these projects, but one of these challenges is the logistic parts. It's very important to understand the environment and to simulate the, the traffic around the site itself, because on this project itself, we are expecting to have around 150 trailers per day. So can you imagine how can we are going, well, how the site is going to embrace all these logistics uh, and traffic uh, during the, the daytime? So that's why we were able here to calculate and to manage the logistics parts in a virtual way before moving to site and before making any strategic decisions. So all logistics mobilization plans were reflected in a virtual environments to take a better decision and to simulate also different scenarios which can optimize and enhance the work processes uh, at, at early stage. And definitely this was a design and build project, so we were using the virtual uh, environment as well to, for a better collaboration between the design consultants, contractors, subcontractors, and to make a better decisions on, a on the techniques that we are going to use uh, during the construction of this uh, mega project. Thank you.